I'm a painter, uh, predominantly, but I'm also a graphic designer by trade, so uh, some of my works bring a more design element into them. Uh, but my overreaching themes uh, is that I like to entwine the unbounded connection between nature, selfhood, kinship and community. And a lot of my works bring a lot of those, um, or all of those uh, ideas together. My paintings are generally considered as abstract, or I consider them as uh, formed uh, semi-abstract works. Uh, there is a story behind them, there are ideas behind them. My paintings um, uh, predominantly sort of started around 10 years ago. I mean, I've been an artist my entire life, um, but the sort of the last 10 years, I've really focused a lot of attention on my art practice uh, compared to, I guess, more my design practice. Um, my works, the painted works, started with a series called Long Grass. Um, I love long grass, or I love um, metaphors in nature, and I find long grass is a great, great way of telling stories um, through those metaphors in nature. And I was telling, originally, I was telling um, very intimate stories um, through it, and a lot of the works I've created since has sort of been an extension of that long grass um, or other forms of nature. Um, the works here at Blue Moon uh, currently uh, exhibiting, there's uh, one of my uh, driftwood pieces here. Um, that's uh, uh, a painting that, um, from a series that I've been creating the last couple of years. And it's about uh, the ideas and metaphors of, of driftwood itself, of these ideas of um, things that come from different places and arrive on the, the same tide and how you can you know, you pick them up and create new and beautiful things. And that in itself is a, a metaphor in life of, you know, sometimes life doesn't quite go as we planned. Um, lives can be broken up or, um, or just shifted on a, on a, a, new, a new current, uh, uh, a new, new, new direction. And that was the idea of these works is that it's creating you know, new and beautiful things. Um, and I love that idea of driftwood. Um, other works that I have here are more sort of graphic works. I have my Loom, uh, Loom collection, which is a series of uh, 12 fruits, um, all, from, uh, all from the Morning to Peninsula. Uh, and they have three intertwining um, loops within the design. And it's that idea about, in a sense, it's about family. Um, it's either about the family that we're given or the ones that we make along our way, but it's about three interweaving loops of generations. You've got young, you've got the middle, uh, which is probably where I am in life, uh, and you've got the older, um, and, and how that, so, so from a perspective of family, it's, it is that, you know, you think the grandchild and, and the child and the, and the, and the grandparent, um, uh, but in life as well, you know, you can have people that don't necessarily have families, or, or it's more about maybe the community around them, uh, and that's something I felt um, and found um, myself down here in Red Hill, where I live. I've been for the last six years and the, the beautiful community and the um, intertwining um, friendships uh, and neighbours here in Red Hill.